Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today I'm gonna be testing out some TikTok hacks with you and Alora. Ba -da -ba. Get you a sister who makes her own sound effects. <laughs> Hi guys, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, I miss you. It's okay, we're here now. We have done several. Yes. TikTok hair hack tests, reviews, fact or caps, and I could not do it without Anna Laura. So we've compiled a list together, and we will be testing them out to see what works. What doesn't? I never know how these are gonna go. I usually walk away with a new favorite hack though. Before we get into it, be sure to hit that like button to let us know that you're excited for this video. And of course, you can click the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. Stick around to see which one is gonna win this video. <laughs> Our very first TikTok is for you today. Yay! Ba -ba -ba. <gasps> Era. It seems super easy. This is by Matt Loves Hair. He has oh, we love him. so many fun little hacks. Yeah. I always want to try them out. Very recommend. I also saw another girl do this. Oh. Oh, she's using the, the uh, wide one. Mm-hmm. Your favorite. Oh. Yeah. All right, so that is the first hack we wanted to try. All right. I think it seems really cool. Yeah. Because one of the things that takes forever when you're using the air wrap is that you have to spend as much time like heating it up as you do cooling it down. Yes. And with this one, you could kind of skip the cool oh. stuff. That would significantly increase the speed of doing that. I think so. I would still definitely hit it with the cool shot button. I think just yeah. that like hot to cold, like switch kind of quickly mm -hmm. is good. Yeah. But it just gives you more time to let it set. I will always sign up for air wrap. Anytime you can take my air wrap. <laughs> I literally come and visit her to see you, uh -huh. but also for the air wrap. It's for the air it's, it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. I will keep it as my Anna Laura um, bait lure. Yes. <laughs> Just like hang it out in the front door. <laughs> oh, Anna Laura. <laughs> I was noticing though with the second girl that it seemed like she was having a hard time getting the bobby pin over yeah. all of her hair. So I thought a cool addition, like you can try both if you want, mm -hmm. but like an addition to this hack might be using duckbill clips. So I was thinking while you do that, I have a trick that I want to try. Ooh. I think this is also from Matt Loves Hair. Matt Loves Hair, we heart you. Can we be friends? Thanks. Oh. Okay, so yeah, he's using like dry shampoo and he's heating up the roots and then putting them on a roller just to kind of refresh them. Yeah. I think that's so smart. I love that it's like so limited on the heat too. It's like only the first couple yes. inches of your hair. Yes. So this seems like a really good, easy yeah, way. Yeah, I agree. Especially if you have like finer, flatter hair like mm -hmm. I do. And I did a really heavy moisturizing mask on it yesterday. Yeah. So it's already like, let's give her some light. Yeah, your hair is perfect for this hack. Let's do it! Let's go! For my flat iron, I'm using the GHD Pro Styler, Platinum Plus Pro Styler, something like that. My editor will put the actual name up here. All right, well, while you get your sectioning ready, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dry shampoo at like these areas that I'm not refreshing. So I've got Batiste. I looked through both of my drawers of dry shampoo and picked Batiste. Wow. Yeah. Who is she today? I just, I can't get away from it. She's the one. It's always been you. The all important massage in of the dry shampoo. All right. Oh, my hair already feels so much better. Now let's tackle the top. He went in horizontal sections like this and the back ones went away from the face and then the front one went forward. I have curtain bangs, he didn't. I think I'm gonna do it all back. And so the idea is that you pick up a section, you hit it with dry shampoo, you hit it with a little bit of heat, you put it on the roller. Boop, boop, boop. A little bit of heat. I have a feeling that's probably warm. Confirmed. And then we're gonna put it forward like a unicorn horn, pop this guy on and roll it back. I broke the number one rule of Velcro rollers, never take a section wider than the roller, I'm sorry. And now we just do that several more times and see if it works. <laughs> uh oh, the tower is falling. And that's what happens when you break the number one rule of Velcro rollers, I guess. <laughs> Let's try it again. borrow a clip to hold everything together because I uh, I did get a little dramatic. I'm gonna chill like this and Anna Laura, it's your turn. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, I 
kurz in das Kino. My Nespresso and uh, <laughs> watching me do this the most difficult way I possibly can. It's all good. Why did you ever work for somebody else? Ugh. You're having more trouble with your hair than the hat. Ugh. I regret taking this sectioning. That's pretty cool. Wow! Prep my hair for me. All right, I think that's probably wet enough to do yeah. something, but I left the ends more dry so they should ah, adhere a little bit more easily. So smart. It's like I do hair all the time. All the time. Whoa! Hey! Oh, you went the extra mile and clipped it to your head even. I did. We just took it to another level. I'm thinking with you kind of adding the extra element of clipping this to your head, you've kind of created a faux roller set. This is way easier than a roller set. But you're right. T. Because it holds the same exact shape. Mm hmm Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so for this last section, I think I'm not going to do the whole pinning to my head thing. I'm just gonna do it exactly like they did in the TikTok with just like, clipping it up at the bottom. All right, it looks like it's going pretty well. I'm on my last one. Can I say that for the last one, you should probably try the bobby pin. <laughs> You're right. I think I would have lost my mind if I had done my whole head with that. Gotcha. Don't worry, right. I would have made it through. Cool, cool, cool. So, the addition really helped. You want to let that cool and I will see how this yeah. turned out? Let's do it. All right. Yeah, take a little sip break. You just did so much. Yeah, sit down. Everybody give Anna Laura a round of applause Ugh. in the comments. And here I go. Let's see how this looks. Massage that dry shampoo in and hope that there was enough oil for it to absorb. Oh, wait. I'm feeling lift. Wait, <laughs> stop, that looks so freaking good. That was amazing. This is a new go-to, absolutely freaking lootly for yeah. me. So we're noticing some fluff and texture on the top from the dry shampoo and everything. And I like that. So I'm gonna make the bottom half of my hair match by using a little bit more intense of a dry shampoo than the Batiste. Um, this one is Direct Flight from IGK. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay, that was a great hair refresh. Are you kidding me? This looks like I just went to the salon or something and got a blowout. I mean, your hair is so voluminous. I have an idea for next time. I want to do two rows so that I have a little bit more hair oh. that's lifted. I want to do a little dry shampoo and a little bit of like really light hold hairspray because I could use some hairspray though. One second. I'm gonna grab the Orbe Super Fine. How to take your hair from I woke up to like this to I went to the dry bar today. Sorcery. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you for this tip. This has changed my life. I enjoy it and I recommend that you all give it a try. I want to see mine now. <laughs> I'm FOMO. Are you cool? I'm cool. What do you mean? Frame. You want to take that and just have? Oh my goodness. The honor. The glory. I mean, wow. This is definitely more defined and curled than you normally can get when you just let it fall, right? Yeah. I need to try this one. I do the Dyson because my biggest problem with the Dyson is that my curls do fall mm -hmm. really quickly and easily. Ooh, this might make it last a lot better. Oh my gosh. It's so swooshy. <laughs> this is Anna Laura's favorite. Yes. I love it as well. Okay, okay, 90s supermodel. Yes, yeah, she's coming out. We both got her hair refreshed by TikTok. I love it. That's amazing. Even regardless of if it holds more or not, I really liked not having to deal with my hair being down while I had wet hair. Like, you know, the combination of wet and dry hair, like fully wet hair, fully dry hair mm -hmm. is not very fun to deal with. So true. I liked having them clipped up in a way. And I feel like the Dyson hair, like having the hair blow around is always a frustrating thing for me because yeah. I feel like they tickling my face and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is another nice thing to add in. Yeah. All right. Wow. Big fan. Big fan. Two check marks two for our first two. Thumbs up. Wow. Oh wow. my gosh. I mean, we could just go home now. I mean, we could. That was it. I mean, Look at you. Who are you, Lily Van Brooklyn? Oh, stop.
<laughs> Stop it. Let's keep it going. Maybe we'll keep the luck moving through. Love it. So the next one I have titled that ponytail because I have seen it so many times. All right. Over and over and over. There's two iterations. I picked my favorite. Okay, sweet. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Okay. Two ponies. Mm -hmm. Do a little split. split. A little twisty. To the basketball. <laughs> yes. Oh! Right? Right? Wait, I love that. Okay, I'm here for this. And I actually found one for me in this scenario, so we can both have fun at this party. What? what? But yeah, it's in a slightly different order, but it's basically the same thing, because she's got the little twisty, and then Look she makes up. the second one, okay. and then she does the little pull through. Wow! Yeah, 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 that is a, wow. Yeah, I'm so excited. I am really interested to see how this looks from the side. That is my biggest question. I'll get started with my half up. I'll get started with my ponytail. So I've got a large section, a large section, bringing them to the back. First one is in, and then she did the twist first before the second ponytail for this one, so. Twisty time! You're at the flipping part now. I just flipped. All right, let's 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 take a little look, see what's going on right here, though. I think there's still hope. We yeah. just need to loosen, which she did that, I think. She reaches through, mm -hmm. right? Yep, and she grabs the ponytail, and then you tighten the bottom up. Oh, God. Oh, no, turn to the side. Yeah. It's like sad. It's like goofed up. Wait, tighten it more. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, sorry. Too hard, too hard. Oh, still a little cute. Yo, no. This one gets an X. I want to take it out right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me try it. Give me a second here to troubleshoot. No. If you look at it from this angle, it's perfect. But when you <laughs> You never saw her face in the video. You never saw the side either. What if you kept the hair in front of your ears in front and put everything else in a ponytail first and then did it? Give it a try. You do it. Okay. I'm gonna try not to go into a full challenge mode or else we won't do anything else today. That is a secure ponytail. And then we pull the ponytail through. Thank you for the assist. Tighten this one up gently. Oh, much better. That's not bad. Okay, so wait, you, you just swapped the sectioning. Like you yeah. did a lot less section of the top ponytail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yep. So she's got this ponytail holder here and then this one is actually like on top of it. So that way it like lifts up this hair. It feels kind of a ponyo in. Yeah, so you don't want it to, you don't want this second one that you pull through to sit underneath the first ponytail. You want it to sit on top of it. And that way it actually like fans the rest of it out. I mean, yeah, you look like you have a ponytail piece in. In like a good, yeah, good 90s way. With just a little clarification, the long ponytail works. If you do this, take a look at it from the side and like adjust as needed. And you might even want to like pin like a little bobby pin right here to keep it from like mm. exposing you if you're gonna go dancing or something. Mm. I'll show you what I mean just so we're all on the same page. Just kind of fan your hair out and then you can just grab a bobby pin and stick it in here and go sideways. And that'll keep enough of the hair there to where it, see, you don't see it. But you can also, if you bought one of my favorite things in the whole world, a Frenchie, that will work just as well. I would do it so that this little thing is vertical and you would just pull the thing over, stick it in on the side of the ponytail and it will not fall out and you will not be exposed. All right, well, let me try to finish mine to see how that goes. So I'm gonna clip this little guy up and form my second ponytail. I'm gonna slide my fingers basically straight back like this so I can have a lot of hair because that's the hair that's gonna be over the elastic. Let's take this down. This top guy goes under the other one. So I have these funny little lines here that I'm not loving, so I'm just gonna loosen this part. I think I can stack another hack and put this little claw clip under it. I do think I need to do the little side hide trick. Wow. TikTok is crushing the game. This is cute. My life is being improved so much today. Wow, I really like this. This is a thousand percent going in the rotation. Ah! I almost prematurely gave this an X, and I'm very happy that you stopped me mm. because this is so cute. This is a, a vibe. It's a full <sighs> vibe. I'm here for it. I love it. Big check mark. Big check. Love, you know, I feel like with the little modifications, it is so, so good. All right. Well, I have one more hairstyling hack for each of us. Okay. I've seen this bun multiple times, and okay. every time I see it, it's a messy bun. And every time I see it, it looks good. And they do it in one take. What? Hmm. I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but 
we're gonna need to find out. I'm skeptical, let's do it. Start by poking your hand through the hair tie, then grab your hair and flip it forward twice. This makes two twirls. Then secure onto that first loop you made with the other hand. Then That's a bold statement that everybody's gonna get it. That, the perfect messy yep. bun every yeah. time. Oh, Carla. Oh, Carla. That is amazing. You're gonna try that one, and then I have a faux braid that I wanted to try. Ooh. Now, I usually roll my eyes and keep scrolling. I'm sorry, I am that salty bee because I am a purist when it comes to braids. Yes. But, let me show you. So she's trying to braid. Ugh, it's oh, not working. Not working. So, she puts her fingers through, grabs the section, and switches, and just repeats that over and over again, and it looks like kind of a normal braid. What? Right? But it seems like That's it would- pretty. It looks like a combo of like a fishtail and a pull through. And yeah. Like, That's just like a very beautiful braid. It, yeah, it, A, it's pretty on its own. B, it might be a lot easier for people. And I feel like perhaps, you know, if somebody has like carpal tunnel or like any issues with like yeah. a lot of like dexterity, it might make it a little easier as well. Huh. Yeah. So, bun and braid. Let's try the braid first. I was planning to just do it on myself, but I now realize I do not have the requisite hair for that. So she had this up at, up at the top. That makes sense. Let's do a quick little try. So I'm going to split, grab, pull it through. So I'm using these two fingers like an arrow, like spearing it through. Yep, grab, pull it through. It's definitely like you're not oh, fumbling around with much hair. It's pretty fast. I think it would be hard if you have tangly hair, probably. And the angle that you um, split it through at makes a big difference in like the, the angle size. of the braid. I'm not sure how I'm vibing with it. I'm gonna try one more time. So I was splitting it all the way through before, mm. like detangling it all the way to the bottom. And I'm kind of letting the bottom stay netted together this time. Okay. okay. So that looks better, but then I do this. There's like holes between it because you're basically just twisting the sides together. I'm not mad at it. I don't think that I would pick this yeah over another braid i mean it worked i think it's a good option if you need it but i don't think i would choose it do you want to try real quick yeah this is not easier than braiding yeah it does not look easier for you you're still having to like do a lot and also like kind of learn a lot yeah i'm not sure about it it for whatever reason the three strand braid just really messes with your head and this one works for you and it makes you feel great do it all day every day for me I don't think it's the move. It's fine. I would give it like a, I'm not gonna give it an X, but I'm like, get this emoji. Okay, bun time. All right. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so it goes over the top. You, tw you go through and grab your hair and then you twist it away twice. And then you put the thing over top. Oh! I don't think I did it right. Okay, let's try it again. So you put it over, you put your hand through Grab your ponytail and twist it once. Wait, how do you do this without ending up in handcuffs? Am I dumb? I have a bun of some kind here, but I don't think that's what she did. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, fam. Do you? I spoke a little too soon, but no, I think I do. Oh, she switches hands. Switched hands. Oh! <laughs> that's good. That is a big old bun. I love it. Can you replicate that? I'm afraid to make you do it because it looks so cute, I'm but like. I'm afraid for you to ask for that. <laughs> no. Instructions were unclear. Literally tying my hair in knots. Oh, wait, I did it that time. Oh, shit, no, I didn't. I, I have something on my head. I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna do hashtag messy bun and see if I can find another one. Oh, look, she's doing with the normal hair tie. So she twists towards. Oh, oh this is a different one. That looks the same, though. Wait. This looks way easier. Okay, I think that's what I just did. Because there was a lot of, of ends left out on that one. My hesitation comes from the fact that I think no messy bun is good for everyone. I think that there are too many variables with your thickness, your layers and all that. So I think regardless of like, even the exact way that they're doing it, I think everybody is gonna need to mm. do it a bunch of times to figure out what works for your hair. Most of these people are responding to comments like I've watched it 67 times and I can't figure out how to same, do it. Same girl, So same. yeah, yeah, same. I saw one of the girls do it in a way that looks like it might work for my hair. <laughs> so it looks kind of crazy.
not the easiest way. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you on that one. Like, I think her bun is cute and I think there is a way to do it, obviously, but I don't think you can call it the easiest one when everyone's like, huh? <laughs> that wasn't right. All right, I got a pony up. You guys are watching my slow descent into madness. <laughs> one more time, I think I might have it. I think this might be it. You put the hair elastic over and you don't let go. So you have this little rainbow right here. Mm -hmm. Boop, rainbow. You put your hand through the front and then you're just going to flip the hair over, number one. And then for the second version, she flips it over one more time. Oh, shit. And then you pull this, you grab the base of the bun. This looks good, this looks promising. So you grab around the clouds of the rainbow. And then you pull the band over the top. Yeah, I did it! Yeah, 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 that was it! Okay, y'all, they need to record this video from behind! That made so much more sense when I was looking at it this way. Stick it! Okay, how do we appropriately sum up the last 20 minutes of our lives? <sighs> Frustration, anger, all the things. I really tried, and I really believe that she has a method that works for her. I just can't quite figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna say X on the easiest. Definitely on the easiest. Absolutely. freaking Luli. If you can figure it out and do it, you win. Enjoy. Yeah. Feel free to send a detailed explanation. Yeah, in the feel DMs. free to tell us what we missed in the comments down oh, below. Boy. I would love to know. Yeah. Truly. I would love to. I won't sleep easy until I figure it out. So we learned that the Dyson Era can also become a roller set very quickly. Yes. All wow. you need is some duck clips and you are in business. Yes. We learned that you can refresh your hair in 3.5 seconds. Yeah. I mean, my hair still looks so much more refreshed than it did when we started this video. And like no, basically no heat. Like very So little heat. because I know I was like going over it, but it like my hair didn't get hot to like yeah. I can't touch it. It was just warm. And it so was good. like these few inches of your hair that don't typically get heat. So it's like... They're okay. Yeah, they're the healthiest of all of my hair, so it's fine. The ponytail and the half up, those yeah. were so good. Those are new go-tos. Yes. So the last two, eh. You know, they were, we threw them in there. Something had to not work. It's a beauty video, right? Watching yeah. us slowly yeah, 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 yeah. madness. <laughs> you know what? I think we tried this so you don't have to. That's right, yes. But you should try, if you have a Dyson Air Wrap, get you, you know, $6 worth of these. That's mm -hmm. about 30 of them for $6 on Amazon right now. Yeah. So do that. Um, try it out. If you like to refresh your hair, get a couple of Velcro rollers. Mm -hmm. Also do that on Amazon. And uh, try those hacks, because that's amazing. Yeah. Half up, half down, a win as well. So Beautiful. we're gonna take those and we're gonna enjoy those going forward. Yes, we're we gonna are. forget the bun happened. We're gonna forget it. We're and gonna forget all about that. Bun. What bun? What, what bun? are you even talking about? I have no idea. Yeah, who knows? But that is all of our hair hacks for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button to help support the channel and to say thank you to Anna Laura for being on the video. Of course, and if you're new here, click that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee and Melissa. Melissa. And all of y'all can click that bell icon to be notified every, every time, time she posts post a new video. video. But that's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with us. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Bye. My bride queens are either gonna wear all their hair down or we're gonna have a variation of ponytails. I might have my hair down and no one's hair shall be downer than mine. Look at me, folks. <laughs> I will wear a ballet bun to give your hair a moment. My hair can shine on its own, thanks, but... <laughs> but like, just to make sure. <laughs>